Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, Day 27. Continuing the trend of videos around opportunities, today I want to talk to you about folder level messaging. What that is, is the ability for you to message your compliance coordinator, your MCA, people on your leadership team within your market center when it comes to compliance or commission requests and commands. So we're gonna dive into an opportunity here. I'm actually gonna show you some discussions that have been had on one of my, um, it's a real life opportunity, but we did some test messaging earlier. So I'm diving into the actual opportunity itself. I'm gonna click on the documents tab within that opportunity. First of all, you're gonna see that I submitted a document previously and that status originally said submitted and now the document actually says approved. So one thing to note there, you can see the status of the document. However, this folder now has a status of returned. And you can see right here on the right hand side of this status is a little quote bubble, if you will. And when you click on that, it's going to open a window where you can see messages that have been sent to you by your leadership team, whether that's the compliance coordinator, MCA, broker, whoever's kind of reviewing these documents, and you can also send messages to them. So um, here are some of the messages that we are going back and forth with. And I was actually testing this both on my account and then on my wife's account who was on my team. So interestingly enough, and which is pretty cool, uh, if you have a team member assigned to an opportunity, both the person that created the opportunity and the team member will receive a message if it is sent from within that opportunity. So for example, David is my MCA. Um, he basically rejected this because it was kind of a test submission and said, hey, we're not going to start doing command until August 1st. So we will be doing command compliance starting August 1st. So they were going through and basically clearing out all of the previously submitted compliance requests. And so I said, actually, from my wife's account, got it. Thanks. Also, interestingly enough, Nicole had this message show in her account as well. So in order to make sure that the alert actually shows up in the leadership team members account, you do have to hit the at symbols so right above the number two, click on the at symbol, and then you can see that I can communicate with anyone that has been assigned to this opportunity. So in this case, my wife, or then anyone else on the leadership team. And so if I were just to put um, Dave, so Marilyn is our compliance coordinator, I could say at Marilyn O'Neill, uh, this is a test message. Just want to be sure you received it. So I could send that off to my compliance coordinator. I could also come in just so I can show you, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in as Nicole. Uh, so I'm gonna send a message to Nicole. Um, want to be sure you got this, right? So we're communicating about the documents, about any notification, and you'll see that now when I log out of my account, I'm gonna log into my wife's account, and you'll be able to see that she should now have a bell icon. There it is, her bell is lit up. And it can say, Marty Miller has left a message for this app, this opportunity. You can actually see the message right here. Want to be sure you got this. And then she could click on it. It would actually open the opportunity to the folder that we were discussing. And then she can see all of the message history as well. So that's how in compliance, right? Actually in the documents tab, you have discussions with both the members of your team that have been assigned to the opportunity. So that might be your compliance coordinator, your contract to close coordinator, your VA, your marketing director, the rainmaker, the buyer's agent, the listing agent, any of those people. And then also your leadership team as well. So typically it would be your compliance coordinator or broker that you're having at mentions with in the file. So that's it for today, guys. Pretty short and sweet, uh, day 26, how to have a compliance discussion within KW Command opportunities. Hope everyone's having a great and fantastic Thursday. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.